Good morning, Boker Tov. Our lesson today is on the word repentance. And repentance looks like this. It starts with a tav, a sheen, a vav, a bet, and a hay. And it's number 8666 in your Strong's Concordance. When we hear a Jew speaking of repentance, they usually use the word teshuva. Teshuva is a noun, not a verb. In order to find the true meaning of the word, we need to go to the primitive root, which is 77, number 7725. And it looks like this. And it means to return. And it's spelled with a sheen, a vav, and a bet. Now sheen right there looks like fire or teeth. It ha has to do also with the Holy Spirit. It's the fiery zeal of God to consume our enemies. Vav, here in the middle, looks like a nail or a hook. And it's a picture of, of connection. Connection with heaven to earth and earth to heaven. And Jesus, Yeshua, is often associated with this letter because he came to earth to reconnect us with heaven. And the last letter is the bet which is house, or God's family, or God's dwelling place. Shuv, me shuv means to return, to turn again, to back away, to restore, to bring back, to render, to answer, recompense, to retreat, to make to turn again, to withdraw or back away. To return means to burn down the house of sin. Here's a good graphic for you to help you remember. Teshuvah means to burn down the house of sin that we've been living in and turn back to God and never return to this. It's all ashes now. We can't return to it. But so often we, we just confess our sin and we think that that's enough. And then we return to the house. God is calling us, when he asks us to repent, he's calling us to burn down whatever it is that caused us to be in sin, to turn our way from it completely. This month of Elul that began on the 21st of August is the month of repentance in the biblical calendar. It's also the month where the king is in the field. That's what it said. The king came out of the palace and was interacting with the people of the city and the town. It's a time of intimacy with the Lord, time of one-on-one. -on -one. I think of the scripture out of Isaiah, come you and reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they will be white as snow. The Lord wants to reason with us. I want to read you a scripture out of Isaiah 55 as we close today. Isaiah 55, 7, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God wants to abundantly pardon us and our nation. Let's spend some time in Teshuvah this month. God bless you. Shalom.